blockers. Now for the past couple years, I've put this to pretty good use. And I have to say right up front, I'm pretty happy. I'm actually really happy. The monopod has twist locking legs that extend out to 66 inches. So it's a pretty tall monopod at full height. The fluid drag head is relatively smooth actually, more than what I anticipated. Now the copy that I have, I feel tilts smoother than it does pans, but overall, I'm still pretty happy with the panning. The plate can only be taken out and put in on one side. There are indication arrows stamped in that shows you which direction it should be going. Overall, the build quality feels like it's just good enough for what I paid, but I will say that the side screw that tightens down the plate feels like it's a little bit fragile. It always felt like if you twisted too hard, you might strip it. So that's the one thing I've always been kind of careful with when using this is not to twist it too hard. Just get it down so it's just snug enough. One feature I've really, really liked about this monopod is the bottom feet screw off. The first thing you have to do is take the Allen wrench that's provided and loosen it up. Once you've done that, you can unscrew the head, put the head directly on the feet, and now you have this great little video tripod that sits right above the ground. I've used it a lot and I really, really do like it. Now, if you do like taking the feet off a lot and mounting the head directly to the feet, I do suggest probably keeping that screw loose. Otherwise, you always have to take out the Allen wrench and loosen it up. However, you do run the risk of that screw getting too loose and possibly falling out and losing it. How did I resolve this? Easy enough, gaffer's tape. That's all you gotta do. You can tilt the leg, but in order to do so, you have to loosen up the bottom just above the feet. I do like this feature. This has also come in quite handy in the past. Could I do better if I spent more money on a video monopod? Yeah, and if I come into more money and I buy a better one, then I would still keep this one as a backup. To be honest, it's been really, really good. I've had it for two years now, and I've used it quite a bit, and I am actually really, really happy. I really feel that I got my money's worth out of this. Well, that's all I got for this video. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you're having an outstanding day, and I will see you again next time.